as soon as you don't have, as soon as they see and they weigh your value to the controversy, they get rid of you because they see you as product, a good, a commodity. You're a thing to remove, a thing to move and get rid of. That's all you are. That's who Paul Pierce was, bro. And I'm mad for Paul Pierce, bro. This isn't right. So as you guys know, Shannon Sharp had a uh, audio that was released uh, through Instagram Live, and it it it, it gave up a lot of information. And uh, we saw that uh, Shannon likes to get his groceries ate. How he oh yeah oh ooh, ah we heard it all, and we instantly thought like, dang, well shoot, Paul Pierce got fired because he had strippers in the back who had clothes on. So it's over for Shannon. He's done. That's a wrap. Then we saw that Shannon went to Club Shay Shay and he said that you know, I wasn't hacked. I'm sorry. Even though his team released a statement that said he was hacked, that's what happened. So they tried to lie with the PR. Shannon went against his PR team and said, nah, I wasn't hacked. Uh, it's real. It was me. It's what went down. I think Shannon is capping. I think this is an elaborate scheme, a hoax, to get himself fired off of Disney, bro. That's what I think. I think he got stuff lined up. But that's just me being a conspiracy theorist, bro. But if you're looking at TMZ, they said he will not be disciplined after the stream. The viral video went up Wednesday afternoon. And a lot of people said they thought it would affect his job, but they're saying it won't. TMZ Sports has learned ESPN isn't going to discipline his star for his accidental stream. Not only are you not going to fire him, you're not even going to discipline him because you're going to say, oh, it was a mistake. Bro, I believe that Shannon's plan backfired on him. I think that he planned to get fired. That's why he did this on purpose. Ain't no leaking. Ain't no fake Instagram. You know how hard it is to start an Instagram live by mistake? It's not happening. So either the girl set him up or he made this an elaborate hoax, an elaborate scheme. That's why I think that Shannon refuted what his people said about it being hacked. He said, no, I was a hack. Because they instantly went to defense mode for Shannon and said, no, he was hacked. It was hacked. And Shannon was like, great, that's going to mess my plan up. No, I wasn't hacked. And there's an interesting, there's an interesting video I want to show you guys, but... If this is true, and Disney is not going to discipline Shannon for what he did, bro, and I don't want to sound like a coon, I don't want to sound like I'm against a black man getting his money, like someone said in my comment while uh, days ago. I'm just keeping it a buck. Bro, you should be fired just like Paul Pierce got fired. I don't see the difference here. I do see that one was an accident and one was intentional. But what was intentionally done wasn't worse than what was accidentally done. But you didn't just discipline, you fired and terminated Paul Pierce's contract and got rid of him. It's like at-will employment. Disney could just get rid of you. And that's what you did to Paul Pierce, but you're going to keep Shannon? What's that say about you, Disney, bro? Disney is like has to be one of the worst companies to work for. Because to work for them, you got to be in line like a slave. And as soon as you get out of line and you start speaking on things that show in, in, enlightenment, they smack you or they fire you and get rid of you, bro. Stephen A. Smith got suspended for some bull****. Jamel Hill and the, and the, uh, the whole uh, show that they had got ended because they were speaking on issues that people wanted to know about. They were speaking on issues that they felt were protected under the uh, First Amendment. But nah, bro. Sage Steele sued him. Uh, Chris Broussard left. Rob Parker got fired for basically saying to RG, to saying about RG3 that he's Drake. He's not like us. And Disney fired him. But you got Shannon Sharp getting his booty eight from the back on live thousands of people seeing it hearing it you got the whole act going down and he still keeps his job not even that 
He's not even going to get discipline. That's favoritism. That's bull. That's. It's greed because that just tells me like, damn, we can't get rid of Shannon. He too big for us, bro. We just we signed him to a deal a couple months ago, an extension. We don't want to lose on that money. We going to keep that. So that so you guys are just like the slave masters that I believe you to be. You guys are just like the slave masters that George Lucas said you guys are. White slavers is the term that he used. Because as soon, just like a as soon as you have no more value, as soon as your knee gives out, as soon as your back gives out, you can't pick that cotton or pick them haystacks up. We gonna crack you over the head and throw you down the hole. Hateful eight. No, Django Unchained. We gonna get rid of you. We gonna sell you away. We gonna get rid of you and fire you or kill you. That this is modern day slavery, bro. As soon as you don't have, as soon as they see and they weigh your value to the controversy, they get rid of you because they see you as product, a good, a commodity. You're a thing to remove, a thing to move and get rid of. That's all you are. That's who Paul Pierce was, bro. And I'm mad for Paul Pierce, bro. This isn't right. And Paul Pierce came out and said, this is favoritism. He said, this is unfair. So you're going to keep him. Even Paul Pierce said, you're going to keep Shannon, but you're going to get rid of me, though, right? Paul Pierce is obviously upset, bro. Because look what happened to his career. Because he wanted to show himself having fun on his private Instagram. There was no nudity on that stream either. They had their bra and panties on. And they were dancing. And you fired him for it. These are NBA players. You guys have ESPN, which covers the NBA. You are involved with the NBA, involved with the lifestyle, involved with the sport. You're enamored by how far, how high they could jump, how far they can jump, how well they can shoot the three. You got all these statistics and stats on the culture, uh, all these statistics and stats on these young slaves. But when they do something that's a part of their culture that you don't like, you Buck break him. That's what I see. Yeah. Shannon left FS1 because Skip was treating him like a slave too. Put your glasses back on. And he was like, man, I can't do this no more, bro. I'm out. And then I know ESPN felt like, oh, dang, we got a real winner here, bro. We got Shannon Sharp to come on over here. And now he's with Stephen A. Smith. And people, even, even people that are at ESPN were complaining that, Oh, Shannon and Stephen A are bringing in this new dynamic. They think they can't be touched. They walking around with impunity like they this is their show. They, they, they think they all that. Well, yeah, of course they do because they are. But I didn't think it was going to be to this point. If you what you do with one of your workers should be consistent across the board. And I'm going to be honest, bro. I think Paul Pierce should sue Disney for unfair firing practices, for harassment. <laughs> I think you should sue him for all of that. All y'all that's talking about I did this for stage, I'm on top of you. Pause. Yo, listen. Just to go live. You know how you pocket down somebody and you be like, <laughs> oh. I called you by accident. Yeah, because you you, you had to get a drink. You pocket down a lot, of course. Because <laughs> it's just, you hit the button. Live, you got to go to Instagram. Then you got to go to post. Then you got to go to live. Then they make sure that, do you, you sure you want to go live? Yeah. You got to hit four things to go live. And... To me, that was, my, he ain't go viral in a little minute. <laughs> and he's like, yo, let me go viral. Because look, <laughs> let's check out the whole scenario, America. Look, first of all, I have a few things to say about this. The, the, the vocals is too clear. How you hear it that clear if you write not next to your phone? Sound like he had a mic Larry was selling me. Sound like he had the earpiece. <laughs> it's mad clear. You know what I'm saying? That's first and foremost. Secondly, you go up and apologize, but at the same time with your apology, you say, yo, Chad, I told you I'd get it in, man. I told you, I, I told you I'm getting in. <laughs> so you apologize in the ESPN, then you're bragging. Thirdly, you say, you know who called me today? Cat Williams, he said, you ain't gay today. Why you gotta make an announcement you ain't gay? If people say you gay, whatever. <laughs> I don't think you need to make an announcement. I want pink a lot of my career. And people be like, hey, Cam is gay. Cam is gay. And I'll be like, bring your mother around and see what happens if you bring your mother around or your sister. 
<laughs> Let's see how gay I am. I don't need to make an announcement that I'm not gay. I'm not saying Shannon Sharp is gay or isn't gay. I don't care what his sexual preference is. I think this whole thing was staged. His, you know what happens after that? You talking about, oh, y'all crashed the site. All my merch sold out. All of a sudden, now all the merch sold out after, or after you on IG Live grunting. So, uh, so I told you. <laughs> yeah, man. I think this was a ploy. I think it's a Ponzi scam. But if it worked for you, Unc, it worked for you. But that's my personal opinion. This was a Ponzi. Me and Church, Big Church was talking about it. All of a sudden, you apologizing, bragging. Merch sells out. You're not gay. It's, it's too much going on in one Instagram joint. Say, let me say this. Uh. Ocho. People trying to say it was staged. So let yeah. me say this. Today, I just lost an interview on Club Shay Shay. That would have been the most visible person I would have been able to interview right. to date. They said no. We got six and seven figure sponsors and advertisers saying, well, Shannon, we don't know if we want to continue this relationship. I'm about to be, my company, Shay Shay Media, is about to be a free agent. Okay. So that means Nightcap and Club Shay Shay, I'll be able to take it wherever we mm -hmm. want to go, mm -hmm. Ocho. Could stay with the volume. That's a very, very strong possibility I'll stay mm -hmm. with the volume. So let's just say, y'all want to think I would I'll be willing to risk that. So next five to seven years, potential 120 to $200 million. Mm -hmm. You think I would be willing to risk mm -hmm. that to do this? Absolutely, bro, because I think that you're lying. I think that you're capping, bro. So I didn't I didn't know that you got six and seven figure sponsorships. So what I said, bro, he's making way more money off of his own brand than he is on ESPN. He just proved it and he kind of exposed that to me. I thought that it was, you know, much less than that. But you're admitting that you're making millions of dollars from your channel and over five to seven years up to 200 million? You'll never make that at ESPN. That's more than Stephen A. Smith would ever make. They're mad that Stephen A. Smith is making his uh, couple million dollars a year and he's the highest paid guy. Your money dwarfs that. So why do you need ESPN? If you have these big aspirations, you got seven figure uh, sponsorships, you got people that would break the internet, somebody that's more visible than Cat Williams, and this... This, this person that's more visible than Cat Williams said no. You mean to tell me that an inter not a company, but a celebrity that you had lined up and you have your sh lined up for weeks. You mean to tell me that someone that you had slotted to interview today because they heard your audio called and said, no, I'm, you know what? I heard you having and uh, I can't do this interview with you. Stop. You got to be a fool to believe that. There's not a celebrity on earth. How high you want to go? You go Tom Cruise, Tom, Tom Hanks. Uh, where do you want to go? Rihanna, uh, Jay-Z. What do you want to do? Who's going to say, I don't want you to interview me because you had audio where you accidentally. Stop. There's a lot of dummies believing that shit. Cameron is on point 100%. Because he just said everything that I said two days ago. You're talking about it's a, it's a, it was fake it wasn't fake it was real you accidentally went live yet on that stream you said you were cracking jokes oh get it in see i'm a well-to-do able-bodied man and i i, I wasn't playing with y'all i get it in see look at these pills i take more marketing look at these pills i was popping these bad boys oh my merch sold out oh cat williams called me he says i guess you ain't gay today and then chad ochochico says see they can't talk about you being gay no more because you had s with a woman on audio. Bro, this is, I don't knock him for doing this because what I've realized over my years is that people are stupid. They're literally stupid. They'll believe anything that they see. They don't think consciously. They don't think, they can't read between the lines. They can't spot this fake shit out. And this is like on the nose fake to me. Like, like, come on, bro. Nobody walks around and goes, see, I ain't gay. See, I told you're, 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 you're spinning. And somebody who really got exposed, if you get caught about having in your booty eight, 
That's not the type of energy that somebody would give who really did not want people to know. He wouldn't even have done the stream. He would have took a week off and then came back or put a statement out. He went straight live the same day and was like, yeah, man, it was me, you know. And then you ain't going to be up there laughing. You ain't going to be up there talking about sponsor this, sponsor that, this, that, my merch. I ain't gay no more. You've spun something that's supposed to be utterly embarrassing and potentially damning to your career and you've spun it into a positive too many positives you took something bad and you spun it into like four or five positive things on your response video nobody who's really exposed would do that you weren't giving off that energy and i needed to see that interview in order to actually see like yeah bro real niggas and, and it does come down to it real niggas know Real recognizes real. I can try. I, everything that I've said, people still aren't going to believe me. Because if, unless you operate in, in the real world and you know and you've been in situations where public figures lie, scam, because you've lied and scammed and you know people and you know the understanding and you've been. I can't convince you. Too many people on the Internet are just that. They're things on the Internet. Who don't really operate in society. Real recognize real. A lot of them stay in, at home and they're on their phone. They live through their phone. So if you live through your phone, there's no way you know what the real scams that happen out here. That's why these uh these uh, Indian Eastern companies are taking people's retirement. Because they get scammed, bro. They're scamming. Why does the scam... Uh, 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 faction of their uh, their economy in that country why do why is it so large why is it a hundreds of billions of dollar industry Triple scamming Triple. hundreds of billions a year you mean when them call and be like excuse me uh there's something wrong with your computer uh yeah let me go ahead and go get gift cards go get get this put this check in and i'll send you this and people the reason and, and and the and the smart ones are like, I can't believe that y'all really be trying to scam me. But you don't realize they do that scam to a lot. And even if you cast a wide net, you get two, three, four, five hundred of them that fall for it. You get the dummies. You scooping the dummies in, taking they they life savings. Billions of dollars for that bull because people don't understand it. People don't see the hook. They don't see that the 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 knife is coming for them so they just get stabbed it's the same thing here this is a scam it's a joke real recognize real bro shannon should have been fired because it's it's the right thing to do shannon will be fine that's why i think he wanted to free up his space get off this contract that's only making him uh tens of millions of dollars maybe he might be getting 10 million dollars to 10 to 15 million dollars for the next five to seven years with espn that's probably the deal he signed small money compared to 200 million you just said 200 million in five to seven years that ain't got nothing to do with espn in fact at this moment espn is in the way i need to clear that off my schedule so i can make these commitments with the big dogs who's willing to pay big old unk the big money. I'm going to sell out my merch. I'm going to sell my pill. I got sponsors for seven figures. And you notice that he said, they not canceling. The sponsors aren't canceling. He said that the sponsors are saying, I don't know, Shannon, if we could go through. They're still there. That would have been the most visible person. I would have been able to it was stage. So let yeah. me say this. Today... I just lost an interview on Club Shay Shay. That would have been the most visible person I would have been able to interview right. to date. They How many people honestly here believe that he lost an interview from the most visible person that he would have interviewed to date? Bigger than Cat Williams. How many of you guys believe that? What does visible mean? What do you mean, a senator, nigga? What the freak does that even mean? Cat Williams interview. This interview has how many views? 74 million views. I guarantee you, whoever the hell you got is highly more visible than Cat Williams. I guarantee you, 
that whatever that interview was won't get a third of the views that you got with Cat Williams. So you can miss me entirely. Looking at the chat, we have nope, nope, nobody beating Cat. Somebody says yes. LeBron? Mm, LeBron is a big interview, uh, but would it be more than 74 million? Heck no. LeBron don't have an interview that's nowhere near like that, bro. And he don't do many interviews. But no, not even LeBron James could pull those numbers. So I'm calling cap on the whole situation. Paul Pierce should sue Disney. He should absolutely sue Disney because uh, I believe there's a lawsuit there, bro. Because Paul Pierce should not be fired. And all that money that Paul would have made uh, up until to, from the point he was fired to now, he should recoup all that, bro, and demand that. What you think, Five Star? Uh, I just think people are hating on, on uh, Shannon. And shit, I see you type people are hating on Unc. What what do people have to hate on him for? I mean, he beat the Sesti allegations and shit, bro. They he beat what? I'm to... sorry, he beat what? He beat the Sesti allegations. You know, people how did he beat? How well? How did he the beat the Sesti allegations? So it was Michelle and not Michael. He said on on film on tape, bro. He said. That you're my Michelle. He didn't say you're my Michael, so he beat them allegations. But Shannon so Sharp's somebody, at that point, bro, to where so if you have sex with a woman, that means you're not gay. I mean, doesn't necessarily mean, but I mean, hey, at least we know he wasn't fucking a man that day. So that means, so now for you, you are in 100% agreement that Shannon's not gay because of that tape. I mean, hey, bro. He could still be gay, but I mean, hey. Hey, man, this is what I'm talking that, about. That's why that he did it. He For dummies like you to say that. That's dumb, Five Star. Nah, see, see you, you being an old head, bro. You just hating on, on, on him. And he's an old head, too. And you just hating on him. Shannon why am I? Visual, who's, who's hating Shannon on Shannon? Visual, Shannon? Who's hating on him, bro? Paul Pierce. Uh, everybody Paul else Pierce is not hating. He, he got fired. done wrong. Paul Pierce lost his job. Shannon's getting praised. Hey, hey, didn't Draymond tell Paul Pierce, hey, you ain't Kobe? Okay. Hey, ben told us that he's not that dude. What does that mean? So why are you trying to act like you're that dude? You're not him. He's not. I know. Go cry, go cry at, at a corner, bro. Ain't nobody going to give a fuck about you, Paul Pierce. When you say that, that's cool. But as an employee for Disney, it matters. He should not have been fired. He had strippers on a live stream. Shannon, Sh Shannon Sharp had him. sex on a live stream. Was it intentional? I believe it was, but the official thing is no. So because okay, so so we can't prove that it was intentional. We can't prove that it was accidental either. Even if it's accidental, so, which one's worse? Having the strippers, because you did the intention. Having the strippers is actually worse than hearing this man get his booty ate on audio and clapping cheeks. Because again, we can't prove or disprove that it was intentional. So for you, it's the intention, not the actual act. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you you can make an. Uh, argument for and against that it was in the it was either accidental or not but you can't prove neither one because again we weren't in that room so we don't know but with Paul Pierce he we see him on the fucking video with the strippers they're strippers though they were fully clothed but he did that they were they were that. dancers dancing matter. you represent a company you get more sexy matter. red twerking Okay, it, it don't matter. You represent what the company, it doesn't matter. You represent the company, represent right? The company. You, you willingly chose to go and do that. So, just having strippers on my private Instagram is grounds to get him fired, right? Yes, because you represent me as So is having sex on Instagram for everyone to see it too. But we don't know if it was intentional. People didn't hear it. People so you're basing everything on the intention, right? That's what everything is. You're not going to look at the the, in, the the degree of what was. One was actual audio of sex and booty eating. And the other one was just strippers twerking. You don't care about that. Because, again, one we can argue was accidental. The other one we know definitive. Uh, well, I know. I know. I'm going to get to the intention part. I understand that you're making the argument of the intention. I just want to make sure that's the only thing that you care about. Yeah, because again, oh, it, okay. If you're doing if you're doing bad shit intentionally, so if uh, I if I steal intentionally friend, yeah. on camera, I should get fired versus me accidentally murdering someone on camera. 
that's a whole different thing. Not why is it? Extreme. Nope. That's why I wanted to make sure no, that what happens doesn't that's count. You, right? you only that's care about the attend. You can't go back now. You said They're yourself same, you don't care level. what it is. Not, it's right. about the intent. That's why I hit you with the theft versus murder. Because for me, it does matter level. what actually happened. Also, the intent. The level of, 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 how can I put it? The comparison, is it the same? It's not the same. Because one is intentionally putting strippers and one is taking someone's life. Nobody, nobody live that. Don't, don't compare the that. strippers and the taking someone's life. I need you to compare the person who willfully stole on stream versus the person who accidentally murdered somebody because of but negligence. Okay, even with that, they're not remotely the same. They're not remotely they are the same with your ideology, Five Star. You do not care not about. Same. They're not remotely the same. I'm when exposing. I'm exposing how ignorant you are. It's not. You ignorant said you don't care. You're bringing up an example that is not remotely the same. I need you to slow down, though. We've already established that Five Star does not care about the action. Five Star only cares about the intent. So it doesn't matter if I bring you murdering a whale, raping your grandma, uh, burning a house down. What actually happens doesn't matter to Five Star. Five Star only cares about the intent. So I could be as extreme as I want. You you, you okay. following me now? So based on okay, so based on that logic, it's like we, we to bring up the whole shit that happened with what's his name fucking King the King the dude that was playing King. We all argue a. The intent wasn't of, of, of him harming that girl, but hey, Disney finally says it's the same as that. It's not. It is I'm the same. I'm exposing your idea. So are it you going to backtrack? Are you going to backtrack then? Because I was, I asked you over and over and over, so you couldn't try to backtrack later. You put everything on the intent. You were not willing to look at Paul Pierce having clothed strippers, and you weren't looking to look at Shannon Sharp and the You just kept saying, the intent. So if I get drunk and I go and and actually and, and do a vehicular manslaughter, right? Because I got intoxicated and I kill somebody, right? And I'm Disney says, "Oh, I'm gonna fire you." I chose to get fucked up and get behind the wheel. Okay. So yes, I should get fired for that. But me accidentally setting my phone down and that shit goes live, that is not me choosing to do that. It, it does not compare. Now let's look at the instance. Mm -hmm. How is that an accident? How can you accidentally go live on Instagram? We looked it up. You can't do it. Man, people, but people go live and do shit all the time accidentally. Yes, we actually looked at what you need to do to accidentally go live. You need to do like five different things. That's not going to happen by accident. And he already stabbed himself in the foot when his PR team says he was hacked and he refuted that. He says, no, I wasn't hacked. So he can't use that as an excuse. So it really is. He did it on purpose. He started that live stream. So you're telling me you don't have a possibility of the girl actually starting that stream? Oh, now we want to bring the girl into it, right? I mean, again, we don't know what went really down in that room. Because you know, no, if we bring the girl, yeah. why didn't Shannon Sharp out her? Because at the end of the day, what difference does it make? You're, the damage is already what done. What difference does it make if a if a comes to my pad and freaking starts a stream to embarrass and ruin my reputation and my career and costing me millions of dollars you better believe i'm gonna out her i'm gonna put charges on her i'm gonna sue her your sponsors are gonna leave you regardless so you don't think that he should have been mad that the woman set him up because we were we were talking about this in discord the day of it happened as it was unfolding and we even said he has to respond to it right now i was saying if i'm shannon sharp you don't got to respond to it because like, at the end of the day, you're at But the answer my question, though. No Why would he like not be upset at the woman who set him up? Because even if you say, oh, I was set up, whatever. You're Shannon Sharp. You have all these deals. Hey, that's, this shit's not affecting As we're seeing, it's not affecting him. His pockets are not hurting. Nothing. It's, it, it, it just works out. The reason why you would out her is because it proves that you were innocent. That's why, because no one's going to believe people will believe that she was the, the culprit, like she scammed him and she set him up more than you saying I accidentally went live. That's bull. It's about public perception, right? People, it doesn't make sense. So, of course, if you got, bro, if you got scammed and lied on, bro, which you have, you got you got accused of something, didn't you? Yeah, you got accused of something serious, wasn't it? Yeah. You got accused of doing something to a girl that you say you didn't do. 
Yeah. So if you could expose her for being a lying bitch, would you not do it? Yeah, and even then. Thank you. Of course you would, because that will clear your name. Why didn't Shannon do it? Because when it gets to a certain point, it's still people are still gonna have that opinion of you regardless of what evidence you bring out. <laughs> Freak the I mean, court of public opinion. Bro. Let's go ahead and go with with the facts. Okay, I so did not do it, and you can prove that I didn't do it. What 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 people say, what you think they would say, is not the truth. If they if he exposed her as being the one who set him up, the people, the logical ones, would say obviously, oh. It's not Shannon's fault. It's not Shannon's fault. He should not be fired. It? And he I would say it too. It. If he the chick, it. if he exposed the chick, I would not be having my stance right now. I would say Shannon should keep his job. But I'm not saying Shannon should keep his job. Why? Because he said he wasn't hacked and he said he did it by accident. That's a freaking lie. You just say we shouldn't care about the, the court of public opinion. And then yet you bring up an example of us giving a f about the court of public opinion. So which one is it? Do we care or do we not care? You just missed me completely entirely. So, no, uh, because you five star. Just I just, God God damn. Yes, I, I did that for you. Because you said the court of public opinion would still not believe him. And I said, no, they would. So if he came out and said, right, like you're stating, right, hey, I was set up by this chick. This is the person that or whatever. Would you believe him? Honestly, yes. you wouldn't. I would believe that more than I went live on accident when you got to do five different sequences to go live. Yes, I would believe him. I do you. Let's not act like I don't have a video out that came that I dropped before I. I had a video and before I did the video of seeing his 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 response, I gave him benefit of the doubt and I said I believe him. It's on video, and then yeah. I'm changing my mind as soon as I saw that nigga's interview on Sh Club Shay Shay. I said this. Ryan. I said, oh, heck no. This is fake. But you don't see that. That's actually crazy. you just proving my point, bro. There's a lot of dummies out here, bro. And I ain't saying you a dummy, but you making me think of dummies. So it's like, th that's, there's that. You tripping, yeah, five star. Day, bro, he gets the fuck that he has said that he did that shit on live. At the end of the day, we ain't seen him fucking. We heard the shit. Man, you crazy. Hey, matter, Somebody bro. else give me a different that's opinion. Five star, get, five star is like killing me, bro. Uh, uh, Disciple yeah. of Kobe. What's up, bro? Can you, what's your take on this shit? In my personal opinion, I really do think it's a clever way to get out of a contract. Kind of like what Kanye did. I think that's the angle that he was going for because it didn't make sense to me, personally. So you think he's trying to get out of a contract? The ESPN contract? I think that's the beginning and end of it. Because he's all about his dollar bills. That's all he cares about. That's why exactly why I think he's trying to get out of the contract. That's why. But I don't, I don't want you guys to agree with me because I think the exact same thing. So don't don't agree with me because it sounds what give me another re, give me reasons why you think he's trying to get out of the contract outside of the fact that that's what I think too. I'm not. I personally have a bias towards Shannon. I like Shannon. So right? do I. But I don't think he did it on at today. I Hold think on. he did it on purpose. Let's go with with Kobe first, and then we're gonna go to you, Trigo. All right. So I personally can't reconcile any other any other an explanation or excuse from him. The only thing I can reconcile with my own self, yes, I'm using cognitive dissonance on my own self. I'm using it on my own self. I need him to have done this on purpose. Because any other explanation will damage his reputation in my eyes. So th this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that he did it on purpose. Why, what, that he why does him doing it on purpose make that feel better for you? Because then I know that he didn't. He really wasn't having anybody eat his ass. I, I, then I know he, you know, because I'm going to look at him different. <laughs> If he really was, you know what I mean? Like, that's my dog, and you out here, you big and strong, bent over, having somebody eat your, come on, man. What's wrong with that? A man likes what he likes. Why? What's wrong with a man getting his, his groceries eaten? Wait, come on, let's be real. You gonna really ask me what's wrong with that? Yes. You like shit, you like shitty pebbles in your mouth? In my mouth? It's in their mouth. She's doing the eating. 
no chance, no chance. You wouldn't no let. Chance. So, so like, what's wrong with that? That that's pleasure. Why why do you look? Why would you think less of Shannon if he's getting his groceries ate by uh, another woman? Because at the end of the day, he's just not a man, right? So he's he is the he's an embodiment of a man's man. Keep himself in shape, millionaire, yeah, tall, strong, fucks a lot of girls. Those are the main ones to get their booty ate, though. Well, wait, what? what, How do you know that? How 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 you know that? I don't. I don't know that for sure. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's, I heard it. People, you people talk. It's Hollywood. God. God. I'm just saying, for me personally, he's like somebody that outside, we just be talking like outside of like sports and stuff because he's a Hall of Famer as well. He's just somebody that people look up to. This is outside of sports, just in general. He's a figure that people so look a up figure, to. Kind of so a Hollywood figure, sports athlete, idol, celebrity can't get they booty ate because it'll make them look like less of a man precisely okay no no no, no you can't do it just not in the public eye you know what i mean just not in the public well eye it was it was it was allegedly a leaked video right it wasn't supposed to be public right my my image of a man of a of a, of a man i don't and I'm, I'm not saying to offend anybody at all but when i think of a man i don't think of somebody bent over getting the ass I'm sorry. That's not what I think of. Think but of but my... but let me ask you this real quick though. What if it is very what if it feels real good though? Would you would you would you would you say like a man shouldn't get the, the sexual pleasure that a man deserves because it may look effeminate? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, I believe that women deserve pleasure. Men don't typically need pleasure in their lives. Oh, we, we can have moments. I don't really think that pleasure is something I go for. Oh damn! So I can I can do without that. I'm fine, brother. And I don't know, and I will never know. That's just me. Oh, you'll never know. Oh, okay, for sure. You? How is how 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 is it? Why are you asking me? <laughs> you you're gonna answer. You you your man's man too, no? I think so. So tell me. How was it? <laughs> Why are you asking you know, me like I, I got it done? What are you? What's going on? Why are you asking me like I, you know I did it or something? Dude, don't even speeding beer and shit. Listen, because I listen. You you don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> I've been around for years. <laughs> All right, I'll be honest. With you. Ashy, <laughs> hey, is she fire, bro? Yeah, it's fire, I, bro. Is she fire? She feel oh, great. Shit. <laughs> hey, hey, you, hey, do you do you like getting your nipples sucked by a woman? You know, she licked your nipples and shit. You like that? That's neither here nor there. But it do you like do it anything. though? Have, have wait, wait, have you have a woman ever sucked on your nipples? Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, yeah. do you like it? It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. The booty. Wait, wait, wait. Twice is better. It's off limits. Twice is it's better. Off limits. Twice is better. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. all right for sure. <laughs> uh, all right, Trico, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Trico. What you think, bro? Bro, that when you say you went to live on accident, I said that was cap. You know you did that on purpose because I right. think somewhere behind the scenes, like you probably having some problems with ESPN. And you want to get yourself fired and all that stuff. But even though he'll still have the club Shay Shay podcast, but I think if he want if he wants another job, CBS, NBC could hire him. You know, because because uh, football is back. Uh-huh. So they could hire him. Yeah. And by we and by the time we get to next year, um 2025 and 2026 season of the NBA, the NBA is gonna be on a, a, a NBC. And Amazon, uh-huh. and stuff. yeah, gonna it's gonna be bigger than ever, yeah. And another thing is too is that is that the reason I said Club Shay Shay is not leaving because despite where everything that happened, Club Shay Shay is a place for all the celebrities yep. can you know speak the truth. Yeah, like I recently I just watched the full episodes with Marlon Williams 
and Tyrese, mm-hmm. and they spoke the truth about everything that that's going on. Yeah. So that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yep. But and also another thing too is that I sent you some on Twitter because I don't know if you saw. I know you did the reaction, but in the comment section, WWE superstar R Truth was going head there on in the comment section, and him and rapper Cameron did a spoof um video of the actual Instagram video that Shannon shot the day. It was so funny, man. Oh. Uh. I see it here. Our truth is so funny. Tell him, bro, Shannon. Char- what are you saying? Yo, that's, uh, saying that's not copy. PG. Oh, wrong killings. Oh, that's our truth. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, WWE story, exactly. but yeah. All right, for sure. Yeah, man. A lot of people seen it. It's not PC. You're absolutely right. That's why I call. That's why I'm calling out people like Five Star. For his trash opinion, because and people who right. lie hey, should not be a though. people who lie should not uh, go get away with it, bro. Especially if you know they're lying and you can expose them. But then and I'm not really trying to make this about. I don't. I don't want to make this about Shannon though, because I still like Shannon. I always have. It's mostly about Disney. That's what I'm really upset with. Is Disney here? Shannon did what he did. He finessed the system. It's working. All for you. It's not about Shannon. Oh, so Joey, it's about Joey, Disney and Paul Pierce. Disney, they don't give a damn about a, a guy wife dying in the park and then getting Deadpool to crack a joke about it a week later. What are you talking about? You didn't see the video? They had they, they had a Deadpool at the Disney park make a joke about the 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 lady that passed away at the because of the food allergy. Oh really? A week after it happened. Yeah, I can send you the video if you want. That's terrible. Well, but what's your point, though? And yeah. you expect Disney? Oh, they're savages. On this, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you way. see what I'm saying? You're, you're in one breath. You can say Disney are savages, and the next break, in the next breath, they're so loving and kind and family friendly, and they're about a great brand with great brand recognition, and they're wholesome. You see how that sh- Disney is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I'm sitting back watching them destroy our people. I'm watching them destroy, most importantly, our movies. I've been watching my superheroes. These the, They have led the industry of fake, woke, agenda-based content across social media, television, all media. Disney's led the way with it. And they've ruined Hollywood for the last seven years. That's my problem. That's my big problem. And I see th- they don't care about blacks or gays. And I'm sitting here seeing blacks and gays root for Disney. If you, They don't care. Look at their history. They're the opposite. And then there's one thing that they care about more than their hate for the gays, the blacks, and the Jews. It's the love of that money. That's why I try to, that's why I try to show Jay Gunner and try to educate Jay Gunner. Because he didn't understand that it's the love of money that trumps all that. It's that capitalistic mentality. That's why they kept Shannon. So Jody, I sent you the, the video of the, the Deadpool thing I'm talking about. So should Shannon Sharp have been fired? Five star. Uh without totally and all that shit, bro, I mean you hold things and you, know, you already said company, no. You, uh, you, you already said you already said no. Freak you. No, you should. Trico. You should. I mean, oh, Trico should he been fired? Yes. EJ, do you think that Shannon should be fired? Yes, but he's not going to be. Right. Okay. As long as we can identify that if we're keeping it consistent and fair, he should have been fired. And I don't want Shannon to be fired. I don't want him to be fired. I want him to thrive like he's thriving. He's gonna do fine. But he should be, bro, because I could keep it unbiased and keep it a buck here. I'm the realest on YouTube when it comes to this pop culture shit. Jody's Corner, you know what motherfucking time it is.